and that's kind of librarian here. Um, yeah, got some more books to show. I ordered another lot of Star Trek books off eBay. I got them for like sixty bucks, and there's a good ch good chunk in here, like a thirty books or something like that. Um, <clears throat> but they're all like the original series. I'm pretty sure they're all the original series stuff, which is what I want to read the most. I guess it's in it'll be in order too. So, <laughs> but I don't know. It just seemed really good of a deal to pass up and. Like I said before, I'm not going to get as many, like, I'm not going to get, like, a lot of Star Trek lots unless they're, like, really good price. Um, and I'm going to try not to talk as much shit as I did in my last video. God. <laughs> Especially about this book. <laughs> I love this book. It's a big part of my life. But it's certainly not as rare or valuable as I uh, thought it was or what it used to be. Um, but anyway. <laughs> means more to me anyway so in no particular order we've got star trek windows of a lost world number 65 fuck that up up there uh, brave and the bold book two that's uh what's that next gen oh so it's continuing the all new adventure spanning all of star trek history okay don't know uh, the Wrath of Khan, even though I'm not a Trekkie, I still know Wrath of Khan. Number 63, Shell Game. You're definitely getting older in this. Uh, Trek to Mad World, this is definitely vintage. Look at this, look at that awesome cover. See, these old school vintage covers look so good. Trek to Mad World. I gotta get those um the ones by Blish. I'm watching a lot on eBay. I don't know what this number is, but do we have an nineteen seventy nine? Cool. Um we got number sixty four, the Starship Trap. Is it by Mel Gilden? So many different authors. Uh, number 70, Star Trek Traitor Wins. Traitor Wins. Looks like the SR-71. Blackbird. Oh, this is cool. Alan Dean Foster. Log 7. Ooh, shiny. Cool. Log 7. Uh, New Frontier by Peter David. This is book one. It's got a mix of Spock and Next Gen. Spock wasn't in Next Gen, was he? Was he just in the original? I don't know. Uh, number 13, Lucky for Some, The Wounded Sky by Diane Duane. That name sounds familiar, but I don't know. Rules of Engagement, this is number 48. Time Trap, number 40. I'm still only up to like episode 12 or 13 or something in the original series. I sort of, as much as I was loving it, I've just, I've been um, doing other stuff. I get sidetracked really easily and I'll, I'll stop one thing and I go and do another. But I, I will be getting back to it pretty soon. Oh, Greg Beer wrote this one. Corona, I think I've got this. I think I've got that one. The Rift, and this is number 57. Ice Trap, number 60. That's cool. Uh, we got Star Trek Battle Stations. This is number 31. The thrilling sequel to the seller, bestseller Dreadnought. That's got a really cool cover. That one's number, oh, it said 31, but Diane Carey, I think I said that as well. I just got out of bed, so I'm not, not with it. Doctor's Orders, this is number 50. Another Diane Duane, maybe that's where I know the name from. She's written quite a few of these. The Killing Gambit, this is number three. Oh, early one. The Killing Gambit. 
Oh, the Klingon Gambit. The Klingon Gambit. So, Star Trek The Motion Picture is the number one book. Okay, and then you got the Entropy Effect, which I think I have that one. So. Star Trek Bloodthirst, number 37. Web of the Romulans, number 10. Some of the earlier ones could come up. Game uh, Chain of Attack, number 32. Crossroad, number 71. That's a later one. I wonder how many there are. And one last little stack here. All in really good condition. Basically, none of these have been read. Beautiful, beautiful condition. Uh, Sanctuary, number 61. The Kobayashi Maru, number 47. The Pandora Principle, number 49. So one, a novel by Carolyn Clowes. Killing Time, I know I've got this one. This one looks very familiar, number 24. We got Dreadnought, ah, that's the one from before. That This is the, I had the sequel to this. It's pretty good, number 29. And lastly, number 77. Twilight's End. Scotty faces the ultimate engineering challenge to spin a planet. <laughs> cool. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, let me know in the comment section down below if you've read any of these Star Trek books or if you watch the Star Trek series or if you like Star Trek. Uh, some of you may not know, I didn't like it when I was a kid because I thought you could only have one Star Wars or Star Trek, so I, st I chose Star Wars. But upon recent discovery, this original Star Trek series is friggin' awesome. Very rough around the edges in some parts, and the, the, the uh, it's definitely of its age with the dialogue, <laughs> but still incredible, incredibly amazing. So, yeah, until the next one, guys, stay safe, take care. Um, watch my Yu-Gi-Oh journey to become king of games. It's quite uh, quite amusing for me, at least. Anyway, <laughs> uh, check out my Etsy store, New Space Age Books. Check out me on Twitch, which is Coin of the Librarian as well. I've been streaming the last couple of mornings just to get the my feels of it. So, um, but I will get a structure eventually when I figure it out. So, uh, until next time, guys. Take care.